So Joey Garrett is a graduate student at the University of Florida, and she has been doing some, some work with us. Um, she assisted in creating the College Showcase Guides. I know many of you have used the, the have viewed the College Showcase, so we're not going to view that today. But the the videos are in the artifact um, area of of the Whova app. If you want to go in there and see the different programs, and it does have the contact information and the brochures for all the programs. But what I wanted Joey to do today is to go through and talk about the showcase guides that, are, that we have created to go along with the showcase um, so that she can you know, explain how you can use those to help support students and their families make the decision to go to college. So Joey, I'm gonna stop sharing and let you share your screen. Okay, great. Thanks, Iris. Let me just one second here, share my screen with you. Um, hopefully everybody and while, can while see she's, it. Iris, can while, you see it? Yes. <clears throat> while you're doing oh, that, um, I just wanted to let everybody know that these um, there is a link to these forms inside the document folder as well. Thanks, Iris. Yeah, so I was going to actually start by saying um, that the this is under the agenda. So if you go to the agenda too and look at this event, um, these documents are available as well as if you go on the um, center's website, they're also there if you look at the different programs. So there's a couple places you can access them. Um, but this is essentially a document that uh, we worked on that helps um, helps anyone really as they're looking to pursue these programs, kind of just give them guiding questions, right? So there's three different parts to this document. Um, the first one is the guiding questions portion, which you see here. So these are just things to consider, questions to consider, um, just kind of a springboard, right? So maybe there's things that a student or you know a teacher or a sponsor, anybody wouldn't maybe think to ask, but something that's really important to consider when selecting a program. So these were intended to look at those videos that um, are up on this college showcase. And as you're going through the videos, maybe take notes, um, write questions down. Uh, all the contact information is there as well for those programs. So these are just supposed to be supplemental guides um, to get you kind of thinking about what should I be considering or what should the student be considering when looking at these programs. So this first section is um, questions to consider. So uh, just to briefly go through, uh, you know, maybe highlight a few. Um, do the post-secondary programs um, in them, do the students take classes with only students in their program or all students on campus? So are they auditing courses? Are they sitting in with other students? Um, oftentimes, you know, there's certain classes where it's just the students in that program, but they, do they also have the opportunity to take classes outside of their program with other students? Um, and maybe this matters to some students and not to others, but again, it's just a question to consider. Um, can they join clubs on campus? You know, can they be involved in the different clubs? Um, can they be involved in Greek life perhaps? Just what can they be involved in um, and to what capacity? So just asking questions like that. And maybe there's certain clubs at certain colleges that students are already interested in. So seeing, you know, particularly can my student or can I be involved in that program? Um, do they have the opportunity to build friendships, right? What does that look like? We watched some really great videos in the past, um, we, you know, in the past interviews we just watched about how they made great friendships with students in their program and students outside of their program, right? And how impactful that was. So do they have those opportunities? Um, you know, how many students are in the program? Um, can do they live on campus, right? So perhaps they uh, have a place on campus for them to live, which you know is another great opportunity for them to network and get to know more people. Um, or maybe there's an off-campus housing that they recommend that the students go to. So what does that look like? So um, just going through these questions, uh, what's a typical day for the student? You know, is it's a set schedule um, oftentimes? So what does that look like? And how does that fit into the student and the student's goals and dreams? Um, so after you can kind of just go through these questions, um, I have additional, we have additional considerations at the end. So just additional things to think about. So location, right? Like where is the, where is the college? How close is it to family? Um, what's that travel look like? What is there to do, you know, around that college? So what's off campus in that area? Is it in the middle of nowhere? Is there a bunch of things to do? And does that matter? So again, just going through transportation, um, campus environment, is it inclusive? What, oh gosh. Sorry, what are the food options? Um, let me scroll back down here. 
um, housing again, process to apply, what are the majors and fields, right? What's the student interested in or what are you interested in and taking that and then ensuring that that program has that interest of yours. Um, is it certificate bearing? What are the credentials, right? So th again, these are just a bunch of different questions and things to just kind of think about and springboard and perhaps it you know spurs other questions as well. So um, that's th this first part here, this guiding questions section. And again, it's just supposed to be a, a resource. Sorry, I zoomed in, so it's kind of going a little crazy here. Um, I can zoom out. Okay, so then the next section, if I, okay, there we go, um, are the Comprehensive Transition Program directory and notes. So these are all the different programs that you'll see. Um, and then it gives you where it is, the contact, the phone, the email, if there is a website, and then it's supposed to be um, interactive. So there's a note section. So as you're watching through the college showcase photos, uh, or I mean videos, take the opportunity to maybe take some notes, maybe you have some questions or some thoughts about that program as you're watching the videos. Um, so there's just an opportunity for you to take this and go through each of the programs or each outlined here, um, gives you the contact info, gives you additional things to look at. Um, and then also a lot of these programs have social media. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at those as well and see what they're doing. And a lot of times social media is a lot more up to date with like what we're currently doing today. So seeing activities and things that are going on as well. So again, this is an opportunity just to use this as you go through the videos to be able to find contact information, visit websites, um, and then take some notes along the way. So this, this is for all the programs and you can type in these. This is a PDF format right now you can click and type um, and take notes as well or you can print it out so it's accessible and then the very last portion of these guides um, is we have actually have a list of all of the approved um, Florida post-secondary comprehensive transition programs. And then we just kind of gathered some key information that we thought that you'd want to know off the, you know, right off the bat. So again, where is this program housed? So what institution um, is this program a part of? What's the location? Uh, so, you know, where in Florida is this program? Um, is it federal CTP approval? Uh, you'll see yes or no. And there's more information about that on um, the center website as well. Uh, and then on campus housing options. So if it's really important, a student really is excited about living on campus and a program doesn't offer it, or perhaps they have other opportunities. So you can go through and see what the on campus housing options are. Um, again, we have institution types. So state, public, what's that look like, technical college. And then finally, um, we gathered what we could in terms of the cost for the academic year. So you'll see some costs, but then um, in addition, you'll see like no housing versus housing, right? So anything we could pull apart to give more information. Now, this is just a brief, brief overview. Um, it has all of the all of the different programs here. Um, and of course, there's probably lots more questions and things that you know students want to know about. And that's kind of why we also did the guiding questions, just to, you know, this is just a springboard to look at and say, hey, here's the base information. Let me go gather some more and what's important to you as a student or for your students. So um, that's just an overview of the guides. Um, they're really beneficial to use when you're going through the college showcase. Uh, and then afterwards, all of the contact information, like I said, is here or on the college um, showcase as well. It's listed there also. So you can use that for programs you're interested in reaching out to. So um, that's a brief overview. And uh, Iris, unless there's something else you want to hit on, um, I think I'm good with these. Great. Thank you, Joey. Does anyone have any questions for Joey? You know, all of the, these materials are on our website under the um, student and family page and you can see where where she found the 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 guides right there how to explore and then underneath that um, it does have the videos for each of the institutions down below all right thank you joey Okay, um, Dr. Seabrooks, Dr. Seabrooks Blackmore, I'm so sorry about this, Janice, that's what I'm used to calling you. Um, Janice, I'm going to turn the screen over to you. Okay, well, I hope you all have really enjoyed our time together. We have, um, hope we, hopefully we We've addressed some of your questions and we're just excited. And thank you, Iris, for putting together a great um, sponsors meeting to give a platform where all of our college and career club transition clubs can actually ask questions and get some resources and to think about how you move forward 
as you begin your planning next year. And it even is a, a great platform to, for some of our members who are um, joining us from the approved programs to kind of see what your questions are and to look at the resources that you have available so they can learn a little bit more too about this pipeline. We're very grateful that, that you're all here. We are really relying on you all to share the information about how you're going to move your clubs forward and looking at those seven learning outcomes that you identify in your applications. I know that there may be some of the schools or representatives from schools who are actually thinking about applying and becoming an approved college and career transition club. So we're excited about that. We ended our year with 80 approved programs throughout the state. And man, did that keep Iris and the rest of our staff really going. Um, it was a exceptionally um, busy time. I do want you to pay attention to what Iris and Philip have been sharing with you about timelines on our website. You have timelines for when annual reports are due as well as when applications for schools interested in applying and renewals for those who are wanting to go another term around. Remember programs, um, college clubs are approved for two years. And so you really want to document evidence of how you are getting students prepared to be a part of our inclusive post-secondary programs. As you saw, all of our programs in Florida are 19 across 24 campuses. They're all inclusive programs and Horace um, Brown started off sharing. You know what? VR works with students and families who are interested in, in attending these programs. So not only do you have VR who's partnering with institutions and high schools and families, but you have the approved Florida Post-Secondary Comprehensive Transition Programs doing the same thing. We're here as a resource for you. Um, we know that um, with the instructional support we provide for some of our schools, that that helps sparks all sorts of things that you think about, not only for our students with intellectual disabilities, but for other students with disabilities and for those students without disabilities who are part of your clubs. So keep that in mind, please spread the word. If you need your principals on board to learn a little bit more information, um, reach out to Iris or any one of our teams, we'll be happy to share. As you've seen with our presenters, they'll be happy to be part of your club meetings. And I know Iris really wanted to spark an opportunity to get you thinking about what you can do, whether it's virtual or not, um, to keep those clubs going and to look at those student learning outcomes that you have identified you want to meet. So we know that also um, a big thing that's coming up, regardless of whether we are virtual or not, we are moving forward with continuing our annual meetings and we are looking forward to getting with clubs and we hope student representatives Next year, we have looked at the weekend after our, um, the weekend towards the end of January, which will typically be the same for every year when we look at our annual meeting for the CCT clubs. In 2022, it'll be at the end of the year, at end of January 28th and 30th. However, in 2023, we'll have our mid-year with, like we're doing now, with our approved and those programs, institutions who are looking to become approved Florida post-secondary comprehensive transition programs. So you might tag on like you're gonna do today, some of you, or do during the week, I should say, um, to look at what's going on with those approved programs. What, what sorts of information do they have and how can we use that information to get our students, families, and other colleagues ready um, to kind of feed the pipeline. So mark your calendars to save the date. We're not only looking for sponsors and Iris will be sending out more information in August or September about how you can actually participate physically with us in January with students and sponsors. So we're excited and I hope you are too. And Iris, that's all I have. I just really appreciate all of our high schools for, um, again, getting students ready for post-secondary education. All of us are here to really support 
support you in every effort. So reach out to us. We're always here and you have many ways in which you can reach us. Thank you so much for joining us. And um, Iris, I'll turn it over to you if you have any other stuff you want to do with closing. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I just want to open it up to questions and remind you that our the annual reports are due. I know many of you have turned them in and we're sending them back to you because what's happened, we, we thought we were doing something right. We thought we were creating a, a PDF document that you could write in and that you could send right back to us. But some of you guys are copying them on your copy machines or scanning them. And what happens is that we cannot read the whole content that's in the text boxes. So if that's happening, what we're asking is that you, you um, send it back to us. And I'll give you directions on how to do that um, in, in the email that I sent to you. But if you look at the top of your form, and let's see if I can, I'm gonna stop sharing this, but um, there's a little icon that is an envelope at the top, and that icon will lead to your email. And that's where you email it to us. And then that way we can actually scroll through the document. Um, do you guys need me to share that? I can't even see anybody right now for some reason. Lost my view on my, there you guys are. Does anybody need that to be shown to you? All right, any questions, ideas, um, comments about anything you've seen today? What did you think of the students? They were fantastic. That's that's so heartwarming to see like them being successful and living their best lives through all the support that UCF and all of our you know supporting affiliates have you know made possible to empower them. Thank you so much for everything. Great. You're welcome. And those videos, those are on our YouTube channel. Um, so you can always go back and you can share that with families. Um, it is in as a graduate panel. Um, so that is on our FCSUA YouTube channel. Christian says hearing the testimonials from the graduates was incredibly inspiring and validates many of the reasons why I chose this vocation. Um, and I agree with you very much. So we do have an evaluation to complete and this is where you can find it. Um, Janice or Claudia, can you guys add that to the chat box? Um, we'd like you to complete this after the, the CCT club meeting and we welcome the sponsors to continue attending the, the mid-year conference, um, especially tomorrow morning when um, Kate is going to be presenting on um, our dev, devware, excuse me, on, on, the, um, on the, the future of FPCTPs and the future of CTPs nationally. 